Hello, my amazing artists. Today we're talking about expressions and emotions. Throughout this school year, I am sure you have felt a lot of different emotions. From happy to worried, maybe anxious, silly, scared, frightened, angry, a little worried, maybe calm, nervous, upset or sick, maybe a little annoyed, all of the different things we can feel and all of those emotions are kind of wrapped up into these little tiny faces that are drawn on this page. You have this page in your packet and what we're going to do is practice drawing some of these faces. You get to choose if you want to add a different kind of emotion, um, maybe one that's crying or one that's smiling or winking. You can mix these together and choose a different mouth with different eyes and really see what you come up with. I did some practicing just like before. I always practice before I get started so that I know I am um, ready to teach you guys. So I'm going to set this page over to the side and show you some of how to do this. Now we're going to fill this page with a bunch of different faces. So first you want to start off, and it can be wherever. Um, it can be straight in the middle if you want, but you don't want to make your faces super big. You also probably want to start drawing with a pencil. I'm using a marker so that you guys can see it. And you just want to draw kind of an upside down, or I'm sorry, a right side up U. Um, your U shape will be the face of your person. Now you get to decide which expression you want to put on their face. I'm immediately drawn to this kind of silly one, so I'm going to start there. First with the smile, like so, and then with the tongue, like so, and then these beautiful eyes that are kind of little um, bumps, and then there's some eyelashes and a nose. Don't forget about those noses. They really add a lot. Then I get to pick either hats or hairstyles. Do I want this to be a girl or a boy? I think she kind of has a face for a lady, so I'm going to give her some hair like so. I'm going to close off the top of her head. I'm going to give her a little ponytail and maybe her hair is curly and so I'm just gonna draw some curls to her hair and just like that you've created your own little expressive face you can even add ears and necks to your people if you would like I kind of think that that kind of fills them out and makes them look more like a whole real person now we're going to continue on and I'm going to draw more of a longer U shape for this one because I want to try and draw this lady right here. She has got one eye winking and it's closed and the other eye is open and she's got some eyelashes and then this eyebrow is down while this one is up and the top of her head is closed and there's a double line there to kind of make it look like she has a headband on and then her hair goes swooping over to the side again with those curls and just like that she's got a whole personality we've got to add a nose I like the long kind of triangle half triangle nose there and then she's got some lips that are tiny, tiny lips, just like so. I like to give them their neck and maybe she's fancy and has a fancy shirt on, but we can't see the whole thing. So I just kind of stopped there. All right, let's try some boys. Um, I like the boy with the baseball cap on. He looks very cute. So his face is more like a circle shape. Now I don't want to close this one in all the way because I've got to fit the top of his baseball hat in there and I'm going to show you how. But let's first get his eyes. So 
So he has kind of circle eyes and some eyebrows. And then he has a little nose and a big smile. So he is really happy guy. I'm just going to shade that in. And then we add just a little line over there to kind of give him the illusion of a cheek and his ears. Sometimes not all the ears are drawn on your expressions handout page. And that's just because it's supposed to look like the person is turned. So feel free to add what you'd like. Then for his hat, it's a long oval and then a curve that connects and then a bigger curve up top and some lines to make it look like a hat. And there you have it. He has got a hat. Now we just add his hair kind of sticking out like so, and we have our little boy. Perfect. Maybe he's got a baseball jersey on, just like so. Maybe they need a little shoulders, right? <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to show you how to draw somebody that has glasses. I'm going to go with this little guy here at the bottom, but I'm going to draw his face differently. I'm just going to do a nice wide U shape and I'm going to give him some spiky hair because I feel like he deserves some spiky hair. Now I'm going to draw the glasses first, which are rectangles and then give him little eyes inside, maybe a little bit bigger there. And then I'm going to draw his eyebrows above. And he's got a little nose and a big smile. He's a very happy person. I'm going to connect the glasses and draw a little line that goes back to his ears. I'll just give him a couple ears. A little color of his shirt. And I'm going to stop there. All right. Let's go to drawing a girl with braids. This girl has braids, although I think that she looks kind of mischievous. So I'm going to give her a different face. So I'm going to draw her face um, a wider. Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and do a circle. And then she's got bangs that kind of part off to the side. And then to make her braids, you just kind of make bumps, almost like you're making a cloud, and then do the opposite on the other side. And give her a little bobble at the bottom. You could even do a bow if you want. And then we're going to do the same thing over here. So it looks like she's got two braids, which is important. Now I know my boys at home are going, I don't want to draw a girl with braids. You don't have to. You can draw whatever you would like. Please make this your own. You don't have to follow along with this at all, but this is a good start for you so that you can understand how to draw a lot of different types of faces. I'm going to use the closed eyes. I kind of like those. She's just so happy. All right. And there you have her. Give her a little neck. Maybe she's got a fancy shirt on. Just like so. All right. Let's move on to the man. This is like an older gentleman with a hat on his head down here in the bottom corner of your drawing guide. So he, again, has a really large face. So I'm just going to draw him a little bit different, and that is okay. And we're going to do his hat first. So it's just kind of a U, flattened U shape. And then we're going to curve up on both sides. And we're going to give it a little bump at the top, kind of like an M shape. Swoop down here at the bottom for the little band that goes across. I'm going to color that in. Now we're going to work on his hair, which he's just got a little bit of hair. He's an older guy. And then he's got this eye, or the, not eyebrow, forehead wrinkle that's kind of wavy across his head. And then underneath that, he has a really long nose. Two smaller eyes and some wrinkles on the side of his eyes. Those are not eyelashes. Those are wrinkles. 
And then he's got a smile. Because he's a friendly, friendly man. I'm going to give him a neck. And maybe he has a collared shirt on. Just like so. He looks friendly. All right. A couple more faces. Let's try some curly hair. That's always difficult and not just a little curl, but really curly. Um, hmm. Let's do this girl's hair with the bow and some curly hair. We're just going to draw her face. I did not leave enough room for all that hair, but we are sure going to try and fit it. I'm just going to kind of make a cloud-like shape up there and then add some more in. And I'm going to bring her bow down just a little bit so that it fits on her face. <laughs> give her some ears. And then I'm going to give her different eyes. Let's try something we haven't, which are open eyes. So I like to draw two open kind of C shapes that face each other and give her a pupil, some eyelashes and eyebrows. Eyebrows really show us um, a person's emotions. So if you draw them more diagonal and in, you can really make a person look angry versus out and curved like hers are and then they look happier. And then I'm just going to give her, ooh, I don't know. I'll give her some lips like this. There. Isn't she sweet? Maybe she's got like a uniform shirt on. <laughs> and if you don't like leaving the eyes open like that, you can always close them off just a little bit more. That's totally fine. Completely up to you. I also always like to draw their irises as well as their pupils just because I feel like it looks more realistic that way. And if you don't think that the hair is big enough, you can always add more to it. Just kind of keep making it bigger and bigger. All right. I think I have a little room right here. I'm going to draw a smaller, more U-shaped face. And then I'm going to do some wavy hair. And this could be good for a boy or a girl. Just depends on how long you draw the hair. And I'm going to do some closed eyes. Maybe this person's a little more angry and sad. While you're working on this, you can always talk to your family about how you're feeling, what it is you're feeling these days. Because I know that being home, learning online, watching videos, listening to your teachers and your parents can be very difficult right now. So talking about those feelings and emotions will really help you work through it. All right, I have two, four, six, eight faces so far. I still have lots of space for other faces, like I could fit one here and I could do one kind of sideways here. Maybe this person's nose is going that way and maybe this one's winking at us too. I'm just going to do some boy hair on this one. Kind of wild boy hair, but it's boy hair. <laughs> Have fun with it and enjoy the process. Try to really fill up your space with all kinds of different expressions. Don't forget about that surprised face, which is always a fun one to draw. Um trying to think of uh, some more faces that we haven't done. I haven't done any that are crying. Uh, I didn't do any that are super angry, like this one over here, um, or worried. We could try a worried face really quick, because I've got some space over here in the corner. Let's do this. And this one has like 
eyebrows that even are kind of like a zigzag line. Really big glasses. And a little nose. And then his mouth just kind of goes off to the side and gets bigger on one side than the other. And that really gives him the expression of being worried. And I do see a boy in this for some reason. Um, it could easily be a girl, but we're going to do some hair like this. Sometimes the hair is the, the hardest part for me. So it's like, what do I want that to be? Okay, so there are so many options. You can draw sunglasses, um, any type of glasses that you want, hats, different hairstyles, different everything. If you would really like to get into this, you can even go back through and color in the faces using crayons of, if you have the multicultural crayons um, that show different skin tones, Crayola makes a great set and then you can make these people all kinds of different skin tones to really celebrate diversity in humans as well as all of those expressions and emotions that we feel. Please don't forget on the back of your paper you need to write your name, grade, and group letter. Whether you're in A or B group, please write that down so that I know where your paper should go when I am grading them and looking for um, your class list. That really helps me out. I hope you guys have a wonderful time. Please, please, please talk to everyone you can about how we're feeling and really pay attention to people's facial expressions in your family while they have their masks off and see if you can tell how they're feeling just by the way their face looks. I hope you have a wonderful time.